Hey you guys, my name is Kim. Um, I'm making a video about my weight loss journey um, so far. What I'm actually gonna do with this channel is um, basically make it into a channel that kinda, I guess, um, follows my pathway to weight loss surgery. Um, I am 28 and I reside currently in Atlanta. I'm from Southwest Georgia. Um, I am six foot right now, 333 pounds. Um, I've been overweight the majority of my life. Um, I have been at the highest, 403 pounds. This was about after high school. Um, I've been up and down since college, so um, I've been from up to 403 down to uh, 291 was the lowest weight I've been recently, but of course it's kind of jumped back up to 330 with me not doing what I was supposed to be doing lately. Um, I've been trying to get weight loss surgery since, probably since high school in around 2012. Um, it just always seems like um, there were barriers that I could not really get over. Um, whether they be financial or uh, workplace, um, career related, stuff like that. I feel like I've finally gotten myself to a position where um, I'm comfortable in my career. Um, I work at one of the, probably one of the best healthcare systems in, in the area, uh, in the south ether, eastern part of the country, excuse me. Um, so I, I really have a, good, a really good insurance plan with them um, that covers bariatric surgery. Um, so I decided to start the process. Uh, it's probably been maybe maybe um, two, three months with the current surgeon that I have. So I already had some stuff in line with the previous doctor. The previous doctor was a doctor that I really didn't trust his office. Um, they were kind of slowing around and being a little lazy. Um, and I decided to change doctors. I had got my upper GI done in February of 2021. Um, and since then, I've just been getting blood work done. Um, the PCP approval letter. Um, I've also done the 12 dietitian visits, which is what my insurance Aetna requires. Um, I've met with the doctor, the surgeon once. Um, I took all my paperwork, everything to him. And he essentially said, you know, if, if you're if you're comfortable with doing the surgery, I'm comfortable with doing it on you. So we can plan on, you know, getting the surgery and everything scheduled. Fast forward to um, and this was last month. Yeah, this was last month when I met with the doctor for the consult. Um, fast forward to, uh, I guess, last week was when I had received the call to schedule the bariatric surgery. And the surgery I'm getting is the Ruin Y gastric bypass. Um, it's the more, I guess, um, dire <laughs> procedure. I didn't want the lap band. The lap band to me sucks. Um, I've seen people who've gotten it and there has been some issues um, related to, I guess, the band slipping or um, it not really, I guess, being as restrictive as uh, the sleeve or the ruin Y gastric bypass. Um, so ever since I wanted to get the surgery 10 years ago, I've always wanted the gastric bypass. Um, if I'm gonna get put under, get put to sleep, go through this whole process, I might as well get like the, I guess the biggest procedure as opposed to just getting like a lap band. There's nothing wrong with a lap band. There's people who've gotten a lap band and have been extremely successful. I'm not, you know, someone who wants to, you know, get the lap band. But um, right now it's June the 9th, 2021. Um, we've set my surgery for June the 30th. Um, I have pre-op with my surgeon June the 24th. So what I'm gonna do is try and show um, my body and the changes that I go through over the next year um, from the surgery date counting up until um, maybe about six months to a year from now um, to see how drastic the change is. 
Um, I am someone who really, really, really has tried every avenue possible on gym and dieting and everything like that. I've had dietitians. Um, I'm a, I'm tall. I don't really have like, um, I think mainly for me, the area is like the stomach. I have a very big tank, um, <laughs> a stomach on me. Also gynecomastia that just comes from probably what, um, just being, I guess, obese and then having, um, um, I guess the diet that we grew up on, probably certain foods that may have uh, led to that. So, um, and I'm also diabetic. I'm type two diabetic. I'm on um, a Victoza injection. Well, not Victoza anymore, but I'm on Trulicity injection. I take metformin every day. Um, I'm really looking forward to uh, dropping or potentially losing my status of being a diabetic. Um, because that really is, I mean, I was diagnosed three years ago, so that's that's really been like a, a culture shock to me, having to make all these changes and stuff. Um, but of course, you want to live, so I've been able to make those changes. Um, but again, I've always, I've, I've just still struggled with my weight is up and down, um, consistently around 320, 330. So I'm hoping that having this gastric bypass is something that will maybe propel me in the right direction. I think the biggest thing with me is just portion control. Um, sometimes I'll go throughout the day without eating, but then when I get home, I'll eat like a wild hog. Um, so it's a lot of things I know that I have to change, which I have made the changes on. And the weight is slowly coming off, but I still feel like I need to um, go through with this procedure. And hopefully I will um, be able to maybe inspire somebody else who is on the fence about any type of bariatric surgery. It's not all bad. Um, if it's something you really want to do, then I think you should do it. A lot of people try and talk folks out of getting weight loss surgeons to say, oh, you'll lose it the natural way. You can lose it the normal way, the gym and all that type of stuff. Everybody's body isn't the same. Um, so um, there are some, maybe some people who will probably benefit from having weight loss surgery as opposed to going through the grueling process of being in a gym every day or um, someone who may be lazy and doesn't want to um, make the, uh, I guess the diet changes and stuff like that. Um, obviously you'll have to after the surgery, but, um, it's, it's just something that can help out with the dumping syndrome and everything like that. So, um, like I said, I'll try to do a video. Um, my next video will be probably, um, after the surgery, June the 30th, that same day. I'll just give you guys an update on everything that happened and um, what I can expect, I guess, going forward. Um, I watched a lot of people on YouTube try to document their process, and it's really inspired me to kind of stick through this and, um, I guess, make my own path and try and push and get the surgery done. But um, I'll show you guys, I guess, like a drastic um before and after hopefully uh the changes on my body and everything like that um and i'm excited and god willing everything will go fine so i will follow up with you guys probably in about maybe 20 21 days um when i get the surgery and everything done so other than that i'll see you guys later if y'all have any questions for me um please reach out to me comment or anything like that um, I live in Atlanta, um, so um, anyone in the area that is, I guess, has any questions about any particular um, doctors or anything like that, you can always reach out to me um, and I will respond. But other than that, you guys have a good week and stay safe out here in this COVID world. <laughs> Take care, y'all.